The Director General of the National Disaster Management Agency, retired Lieutenant General Bremer C.C., on Monday, 19th December 2022, informed the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Miltibagai Technical University about plans to construct a Center of Excellence for Disaster Management at the Miltibagai Technical University, Godrich Campus, if the land is made available to them. He made the disclosure during a meeting with top management staff of the two institutions at the Great Hall in a room of the Godrich campus in Freetown. The Director General of National Disaster Management Agency commended the administration of the Miltimaga Technical University for the new status which he attributed to hard work. Disclosed Sierra Leone is prone to disaster, the reason the president created the agency and that it was established by an Act of Parliament on the 19th of November 2021. He went on to reveal that the $2,100 grant Sierra Leone Oba Resilient Project funded by the World Bank is to build an emergency operation center that the project is time-bound to be implemented between 2021 and 2025 and appeal to the college administration to provide land for this all-important project. The government of Sierra Leone, through the agency, did a lot of engagements. And one of those engagements was with the World Bank. And the World Bank, through the Minister of Finance, promised through the uh, Resilient Urban Sierra Leone Project which covers other ministries, departments, and agencies, including the Freetown City Council, to do some capacity development in the agency, to assist us with capacity development and other issues. One of the capacity development projects the World Bank has for the National Disaster Management Agency is to create an emergency operation center for the agency and a headquarters, per se. Uh, with that, the World Bank has committed $2,100,000. That is seated now. It's a grant, you know, and it is time bound. The project is supposed to be implemented between 2021 and 2025. Mr. Principal and Vice Chancellor, we have done everything humanly possible to acquire appropriate land to get this EOC, an emergency operation center. We have not succeeded at all. We have gone through the Ministry of Land, we have gone through the Ministry of Works, we have visited many sites. And um, in creating or in having an EOC, you have to think, take certain things into consideration, like the location, the distance of that entity in relation to the majority of the development partners within country, especially the UN agencies. You can go and erect this uh, edifice outside of Freetown, but it become a challenge when you have emergencies and you need to bring your partners together so that uh, you can respond to such uh, disasters. We have done a lot and uh, we have taken up this issue to the highest levels in the land. And uh, we are still under the office of the president. This agency is under the office of the president. And therefore, the chief minister is our supervising minister. So we held a serious discussion with him. And uh, we were able to identify uh, multi Malay uh, technical university. As an entity, we can approach to see if you can provide us that land space so that uh, this grant cannot go in vain. The Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Milti Magai Technical University, Professor Dr. Philip John Kano, said he is pleased to welcome the team from the National Disaster Management Agency that the Milti Magai Technical University will take advantage of the opportunity for the National Disaster Management Agency to use its land as there are other institutions of higher learning in the country asserting that it is a lucky moment for the Miltimaga Technical University. When, it, when we talk about disaster, 
is a business of everybody. Most times people will think disaster is only for the, the disaster uh, agency or unit in the country. No, it is for all of us. Disaster can strike at any time in this nation. Whatever thing that you do, even using your vehicle, is disaster. Even the rice that we eat is disaster. If you don't know, you don't take your time when you are eating, talk, eat, and drink water, then the, the, the food passes the wrong path. You know that you are in a disaster situation. You will need somebody to rescue you. So I'm happy that when we have risk officers here, which has been a very serious matter in Sierra Leone, we don't take note of the risk. We don't foresee, we don't forecast what will happen. We, we are now complaining that government, 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 we construct houses in the wrong places. We cut our trees. We mine our sand. We remove all the stones from the hill tops. And when trouble strike now, that's the time we start going to disaster, disaster. No matter, it is all our responsibility. So bringing a concept of trying to do something that can expand the knowledge of disaster in this country. What is the new concept? The, the way you people will look at disaster and the way we study disaster in the classroom is a totally different thing. So that's the kind of concept that uh, when we said you have this idea to introduce this course, we said now, if we are a technical institution that is targeting to address societal issues, we need to take this as our own baby. We want to assure you, uh, sirs and ladies, that a military maga stands ready to support this process. Highlights of the meeting were presentation of books, reports, or materials to the Milti Magai Technical University by the National Disaster Management Team. For Star TV News in Freetown, I am George Elliotson reporting.